Honey, I just got off the phone with someone very important and I have some very exciting news to share with you. Wait, actually, don't read my last message. Maybe I'll make it a big surprise for you when I get home. Too late. I already read your message and now you have to tell me. <laughs> What's the big surprise that you have for me? No, I'll wait until tonight when I can celebrate with my two favorite people in the whole world. Wait, is it what I think it is? Oh my god, are you serious? What do you think it is? If you're right, then I'll come out and say it right now. Were his adoption papers officially approved by the court? Yes, they are. Oh my god, I'm so happy! I know, me too! We've been working towards this for months ever since we got him as a tiny little baby from the foster care system. Oh, our little Simon. He was so small and fragile when we first met him, and now he's officially our kid. I know. I'm sorry. I know that usually people have these big celebrations and really happy videos that they put on the internet afterward. But I was so excited when I got off the phone with our lawyer. I just couldn't help myself. I had to tell you. No, it's fine. I'm really happy that you told me. I can't believe it. I'm so excited. This is the best news ever. Me too. We've been working towards this for so long. I'm just glad that it happened before his first birthday party. Now, we can celebrate both of those things together as a family. It's already next week. This works out perfectly. I know that he doesn't really understand what being officially our adopted son means, but it's still exciting for everyone else who loves him. Have you told anyone else? No, of course not. I wanted to tell you first and foremost. I mean, you're his mother. Who else was I going to tell first? This is amazing. I can't believe we actually did it. We now have a son. I mean, he's been our son since he came into our care when he was less than a month old. But now it's official. That will make hospital visits so much easier. Not to mention, we can now enroll him in different programs and everything. This is going to be fantastic for him. I know. Now we need to invite everyone out to celebrate this wonderful occasion. They don't even know that we decided to adopt him. We were just supposed to be foster parents. But I swear, when I held him in my arms for the first time, I felt a connection. The exact same way. Not to mention that I saw it in your face and I knew that we were going to end up adopting Simon. He's just the most precious baby boy. God, I wish I was at home right now so I could celebrate with you too. Don't worry. I'll go out and get some things to make all of us a really nice dinner. We'll celebrate together as a family tonight, even if he really doesn't understand anything. Oh my god, I'm so happy, honey. He's officially our son. I know. I'm so excited. I mean, if you ask us, five years ago, if we knew that we'd be married and foster kids and just adopted our first child, we would have never believed them. We would have thought they were crazy. I know, but it felt like it was a perfect time. I mean, we've been married for almost six years, and after finding out that we couldn't have children, we figured a way through it. And now we have our beautiful little Simon with us. He's our miracle. Exactly. I wouldn't want anything else except for our perfect little family. Wow, I can't believe that I have to get back to work after this. I feel like I'm on cloud nine. I can't stop smiling. I know. Is it okay if I phone my parents? No, wait. I'll wait until you're home and we can tell them together. I want them to hear it from both of us. They're going to be so happy for us. Sounds great. They'll be so excited to hear the news. We'll have to make sure that we go see them in the next couple of months and spend some quality time with them. I know. I mean, they've been so great to be willing to fly out as much as they have to help us in the first few couple of months when we were just adjusting to having a baby. And now they're coming to his birthday, and we can officially say that their official grandbaby is here and he's ours forever. I'm pretty sure they also knew that we were going to adopt Simon. They've always been so supportive of our decision to foster him, and they've always treated him like their own. What about you? How do you feel about telling your parents? You mean my parents? Well, I can't say that they'll be as excited as yours. I mean, you already know how much they fought us tooth and nail when we first announced that we were going to start fostering kids. They didn't think it was a good idea. I really don't understand what their problem is. Why are they so against us fostering kids? Their problem is that they really wanted a kid that was genetically their grandbaby. I mean, they were probably more heartbroken than us when we found out that we couldn't conceive on our own. They had this dream of having a biological grandchild that looked like us and carried on their genes. Yeah, but I just think it's so messed up. I mean, any kid that we have is going to be their grandbaby. It doesn't matter whether they are biological or not. 
They should love them unconditionally. I know. Trust me, I agree with you. At least I have my sister and her husband to give them grandbabies that they'd be excited about. They already have two kids and they're expecting a third one soon. Don't say that. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure they'll come around and accept Simon as their grandchild. Are you sure? Because the way I remember it, they nearly refused to hold Simon when we first caught him. They've always been really old school and have weird ideas about what family is. They don't agree with the idea that family can be people that you're not related to by blood. But now Simon is related to us. We're legally his parents. We have the papers to prove it. He has our last name and everything. I know, and I am so incredibly happy about that. But I just don't want you to get your hopes up that just because we adopted Simon, that my parents will be fully on board with it. They're weird, and they're controlling. And if they don't like something, they'll let everyone know about it. They'll make a scene and ruin everything. I know. I just wish it wasn't true. I mean, what will we do if they refuse to accept him as their grandchild? I don't want to raise him with grandparents that refuse to even hold him or acknowledge him as their grandchild. I mean, he'll be miserable. Kids can pick up on these kinds of things, you know? They can sense when someone doesn't love them. I know, but we also don't know for sure whether or not they'll reject him. Let's just invite them to his birthday, and we'll make the announcement there to everyone. And we'll see once and for all whether they're grandparents that we'll have in his life or not. Whether they're willing to be part of our family or not. What do you mean by that? Are you really willing to cut off contact with your parents if they don't accept him? If they don't love him as their grandchild? Absolutely. You and Simon are my family. And if anyone tries to hurt you or make you feel less than, I won't stand for it. You're absolutely sure? You're not going to regret it later? 1000%. I'm sure of it. Seriously, there is no other person that I would have wanted to have a child with. You're the best thing that ever happened to me. I love you too. Now, let's stop talking about these things and celebrate the fact that Simon is officially ours. I'll go to the grocery store and pick up a few of our favorite things. We're going to celebrate tonight and phone all of the people who will celebrate with us. Exactly. That sounds perfect. I can't wait to see you and Simon tonight. Hi, Cassie. Edwin and I just wanted to invite you and the rest of the family to come celebrate Simon's first birthday with us next week. It's going to be a really special occasion for us and we'd love to have you there. Simon? You know, Simon, the baby that we fostered. The one that we've been taking care of for almost a year now. He's still with you? Well, the system must be really broken. I don't think it's right that you should take care of someone else's baby for that long. You're not his real parents. Oh, well, the system is broken for a lot more than that. There are so many kids who need loving homes and families. Um, can we count on you and the family coming by? We really want to make this a memorable day for Simon. We'll have to see. We're pretty busy these days. You know, with our own kids and grandkids. Are you sure? I mean, it's his first birthday. We'd love him to be surrounded by family. He deserves to feel loved and celebrated. Well, isn't the point of you looking after him because he doesn't have any family? Because his real parents abandoned him or something? You know what I mean, Cassie. He may not have any biological family, but he has us. And he has you. Fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. We'll try to make it. How is Simon doing? Oh, he's doing really well. I'm really glad you asked. Yes, and he's turning one. Yes, he's turning one next week. Can you believe it? It feels like yesterday when we first met him. Are you sure he needs a birthday party? What? Of course he needs a birthday party. He's our son. We want to celebrate his life. Well, the family and I were looking for an excuse to get together anyway, and... Well, Simon's birthday does line up perfectly. We can use it as a reason to have a family reunion. I mean, yeah, it'll be nice to have the whole family together. My parents are coming to celebrate as well. They're flying in from out of town. They're so excited to see Simon again. Oh, really? See, this will be a nice celebration. We'll have a lot of fun. We'll eat cake and play games and catch up with each other. Exactly. I'm so glad that you think so. I know that Simon will really appreciate being showered with love that day. It's his first birthday, after all. I know he won't remember much of it, but I have a feeling that babies know about these sort of things. They can feel the love and warmth and the happiness. And when he looks back on the photos from that day, he's going to feel so happy that we loved him so well on his first birthday. Wait, you don't actually plan on keeping him for that long, right? 
If so, then there's definitely something wrong with the system. If you're going to have to deal with him for that long, he's not your real son. He's someone else's son. You're just his foster parents. I mean, we're not really dealing with him. We love him and we're taking care of him. He's part of our family. He's our son in our hearts. Yes, I know you and that son of mine have such a noble quest that you're on to take care of these children, but I'm just saying that maybe if we just cut out his celebration and had one of our own, then maybe that would be better. You know, for us, for our real family. What the hell does that mean? How can you say something like that? Well, you don't need to curse. I'm just saying that he's one year old. What is he going to remember? He's not going to care if we have a party for him or not. He's not going to know the difference. Okay, I know that you don't really mean what I thought you meant. I'm just reading into this wrong. We're celebrating Simon's first birthday party, and I would really appreciate it if all of his family were around to celebrate with him. It will mean a lot to him someday, when he grows up and learns about his story. Yes, but it's not like we're going to be around for that someday, right? I mean, he's a foster kid. You give them back eventually, right? You don't keep them forever. That's not how it works. I mean, technically, but that doesn't mean that we should skip out on our love and affection for him now. He's our son now, and we're going to treat him as such. I just think that this whole thing is a bit unhealthy. You're getting too attached to him. You're acting like he's your real son. You're forgetting that he has real parents out there somewhere, and they might come back for him someday. And then what will you do? I can assure you that it isn't unhealthy. Edwin and I are fine. We're happy, in fact, ecstatic. We're the happiest we've ever been. And why is that? Why are you so happy? Is there something you're not telling me? It's not my place to say, but still, it would mean a lot to both of us and to Simon if you all came out to celebrate his birthday. He's our son and we wanna share this moment with you. We'll be there. Don't you worry. We'll come and celebrate with you. Really? That'll be good. And we can put all this nonsense behind us, right? I don't want any comments that Simon's not real family or whatever at his birthday, okay? I don't want any negativity or judgment or criticism. I just want love and support and happiness. I mean, I would just be telling the truth. He's not our family. He's not related by blood. I mean, he doesn't even look like you or Edwin. He has a different color skin and hair color and eye color. He's obviously not one of us. A lot of kids don't look like their parents. We live in a different world. Judging a family based on blood just isn't right. Family is more than that. Family is about love and connection and acceptance, not about genes or appearances. Actually, it is. Blood is thicker than water. That's what they say and I agree with them. Not in Edwin and I's family. We determine family through love and connection, not by blood. And we love Simon more than anything. He's our son and we're his parents. And nothing can change that. And that's your lifestyle, which is fine. But that doesn't mean that my family and I are going to abide by that. Fine, whatever. Just leave those types of comments at home. I don't want to be upset on my own son's birthday. He's not your son. And the sooner that you realize that and comprehend it, the better it will be when you have to give it back someday. He is my son. Whether or not we give him back, he is our son. Yeah, just send over the details of what time the party will be and we'll be there. Am I good to bring some things along? Yes. Simon loves dinosaurs and his favorite color is orange. I meant food and drinks. You know what? Let me handle everything. We'll handle the decorating and the reservations and the activities. We'll have it all handled and figured out. Are you sure? Because you don't really know Simon that well. It'll be fine. Just let us handle everything. Okay. And so my mother just offered to take care of everything, I think. So I'm not entirely sure what happened. It was like we were going back and forth. One minute she'd be saying that Simon is not a real child, and then the next she's offering to set everything up. I'm not entirely sure what's happening. Okay, that's weird. Maybe we should go ahead and have backup plans just in case. I don't know what my mother is planning. Well, I don't think she's planning anything bad. Maybe she wants to step up, once she realized how serious we are about Simon. I don't know. I know my mother. And what she said about having a family celebration kind of makes me think that she's not going to get anything for Simon. 
She's going to probably take care over our party and make it for herself and our family. Are you serious? She wouldn't actually do something like that, would she? I don't know. That's kind of what it sounded like to me. I mean, did they even care to ask what Simon's favorite things are or what we had planned already? No. Oh god, what if she is going to try and hijack the party? I mean, why else would you try and boot me out of the planning? Maybe we should tell her that we adopted Simon. I don't know how that's going to go any better. This is turning out to be such a mess. I know. I'm sorry. I wish my family wasn't like this. I mean, I would love it if we lived closer to your family. Your parents have always been so supportive of us. I mean, they flew over here like three different times in those first couple of months. And they stayed for like a week at a time to help us out with the baby. I know. They're amazing. I kind of wish that we lived closer to them too. I mean, we've kind of figured out how to have a baby, but it would still be nice to have actual family support, you know? Someone to babysit who was family so we could go on date nights. Someone who I could talk to and know that they actually care. I mean, we can change that. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Please don't get my hopes up like that. No, I'm serious. I mean, if I was thinking it and you were thinking it, then we might as well do it. We can move. My company has an office over there that I can work in. And I'm sure that when Simon is able to do full-time care, you could find a teaching job there. Wait, are you serious? You would actually move our family to be closer to my parents? Absolutely. I mean, it's like you said, we're pretty good at taking care of Simon. But I would love to have support as well. It's not easy taking care of the kid. And if we plan on having more in the future, then it'll be so great having your parents there. Your parents who wholeheartedly love our child as their grandbaby. Stop! You're going to make me cry. Are you serious? Well, let's think about it. Let's take a week to really let the possible decision sink in. And then, we'll decide. Then, if you want to move. Makes the most sense. I mean, and we'll see how my family reacts at the birthday party as well. Because if they do mean to actually step up and take an interest in their grandchild's life, then that means we don't have to move. Okay, yeah, I agree. But you're absolutely sure about this? I've been thinking about it since those first couple of months. And I know you probably have as well. I'm sure that it will be the best move for our family. You're amazing. I literally love you so much. I love you too. And I'd do anything for our family. You know that. Yes, I do. Hi, just wanted to check in and see how the party preparations are going. They're going just fine. We booked a room at the Hudson Hotel. I think it should be enough for the party, don't you think? The Hudson Hotel? I mean, that's a bit fancy for a one-year-old birthday party, don't you think? Sure, whatever you think, you know, you don't need to hover. We've got this under control. I've done enough parties, and I assume that you and my son are making an appearance. Well, of course. It would be pretty weird if we didn't show up. Sure. Are you sure you don't need any help? I'm just... Everything will be fine. Don't you trust me at all? What kind of daughter-in-law doesn't trust her own mother-in-law? Everything will be fine. I'm sure that it will be. I'm just a bit concerned because you haven't really asked me anything about Simon. What would I need to know about Simon? I don't know. Maybe his favorite color or favorite activities to do? What kind of food he likes? Well, it's not like you know everything about him, do you? As a matter of fact, we do. We are the ones raising him. So, naturally, we know everything there is to know about him. You're absolutely sure that you don't need my help with anything? No, just leave it alone. We've got this. Okay, fine. I seriously can't believe how selfish and insensitive you are. What are you talking about? Where did you and Edwin go? You just disappeared in the middle of the party. You were supposed to be handling a kid's birthday party, but you didn't do anything for Simon. You didn't get him a cake or a present or a card. You completely ignored him. It doesn't matter, does it? He's not really your kid. He's just some random baby that you're looking after for a while. Yes, it does matter, actually. This is supposed to be Simon's birthday party, but you hijacked the party and made it into some family get-together. You invited all your relatives and friends and made it all about you. You didn't care about Simon at all. Family reunion, which makes you and Edwin disappear and very rude. 
You should have stayed and mingled with the guests. Well, we're obviously not staying. Not since you made it clear that you don't care about us or Simon. That's not true. We care about you and Edwin. But what about Simon? He's not actually your kid, so he's not actually my grandchild. You're horrible. How can you say something like that about a baby? You're just fostering him. Even then, he is our kid while he stays in our house. That's what fostering is. We treat him as our own. But we're not even just fostering him. Not anymore. What do you mean? It means that Edwin and I adopted him. Simon is officially our kid. He's legally our son. We have the papers to prove it. No, you didn't. Edwin wouldn't dare. Not without talking to me first. He wouldn't do something so stupid and reckless. That's funny. You never made it a secret that you don't approve of Simon for whatever reason. Why would we ask you for permission to do something in our lives? He's been our kid since the first moment we held him in our arms. Just because you don't recognize that doesn't mean we don't recognize that. And I'm so sick and tired of you guys disregarding him. We're done. Fine. See, this is why we had to take the reins when it came to the party. I know exactly what my family wants and needs. Simon is your family. He's your grandson. And you should treat him as such. No, he isn't. Neither are you. Which is why I had to be the one to plan the party. You're not related to even one person of my family by blood. You are not and never will be a part of our family. Great. You'll never see me again now as I'm leaving forever. Huh? What are you saying? Yeah. Edwin and I talked about it. We're new parents. We needed your support. And none of you wanted to help us. Because you didn't think Simon was our true child, which is so messed up. Just because Simon isn't our flesh and blood doesn't make him any less of our child. He's our child in every way that matters. So we decided that we need to move somewhere where we're going to get the support that we need so Simon can get the love that he deserves. What does that mean? You're not taking Edwin, are you? It was Edwin's idea. He was the first one to pitch it. We're moving to be closer to my parents. Your parents? They live in a completely different city. Wow, I'm surprised that you knew that. Yes, they do. Edwin and I are taking our son, and we're moving to a different city. A city where we'll have support, and where we'll be far, far away from you. You don't mean that. You wouldn't dare take my son away from me. No, but your son would take his son away from you. Goodbye, and enjoy your stupid little party. We're leaving, and we're never coming back. Edwin ended up texting all of our friends and family who wanted to celebrate Simon's birthday and told them to meet us at our place instead of Cassie's. We had a backup plan in case things went wrong at Cassie's and had set up our house for a kid's birthday party, just in case. We had decorated the living room with balloons and streamers, baked a chocolate cake with Simon's name on it, and bought some toys and books for him. We ended up having a lovely day celebrating Simon with the people who truly loved him. Everyone began crying and cheering when we announced that we had officially adopted Simon, that he was now our son in every way. My parents came to squish us all in a hug and congratulated us on becoming a family. It turns out you do need a big family to celebrate the good moments in your life. You just need the family that you choose and that chooses you. The family that supports you and respects you. The family that makes you happy.